everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for Psycho 4 The Beginning. Uh, this movie is a sequel and a prequel to Psycho 1 and 3. Um, and everything, the movie picks up, Norman Bates has been released again from the Mental Institute. He's uh, been married for a while and living in a different house other than his mother's house. And he's listened to this uh, talk radio show where, uh, about this, uh, this woman is talking about, uh, men who have killed their mothers and stuff, and he goes on there and talks about his past and everything, so most of this movie is like a, a flashback story of like his life as a kid and a teenager and what and how he turned into a murderer and stuff like that and we get to witness like his his first murders and him killing his mom and her lover and it was a really interesting movie um and everything after they get done with that we find out at the end that, or towards the end his wife is pregnant and he's uh decided he, that he's going to kill her because he doesn't want to want to have a kid that would be a would have the same mental problem uh, mental illness problems as him and everything and he go he takes her ba back to Norma Bates's house and is uh, planning on trying to kill her and but he ends up uh, stopping himself and everything and then he's like I'm gonna get rid of this place once and for all and he like sets the house on fire and everything um it was a really good ending I, I liked it like for once he didn't let his problems get to him and he actually made a good choice and everything I, I liked this movie quite a bit um I thought it was a lot better than Scream or not Scream 3 Psycho 3 uh and everything, but uh, this one's directed by Mick Garris and written by uh, Joseph Stefano, who uh, uh, wrote the first Psycho movie. So this movie really does feel like it fits in with the first one. Um, it does ignore two and three. Uh, it doesn't really have any continuity with them. So really and truly, uh, this could kind of somewhat be a reboot type of sequel and prequel, but uh, it doesn't like mess up the continuity it makes sense where they just don't reference stuff from the third second and third movies so it could still technically be part of the franchise and not reference them uh i think all of the cast in here was really good uh this was anthony perkins last time playing norman bates and i thought he did a good job i don't think he was quite as good in this one as he was in some of the other ones uh but he was having a lot of health problems and stuff and you could kind of tell that they were kind of taking a toll on him uh so and everything but he, he still was good enough um Olivia Hussey plays Norma Bates and she's really good um really crazy and everything it, it's kind of weird seeing her in something other than the uh miniseries version of it I haven't really seen much of her other movies so uh, it was kind of weird seeing her in this movie, but I thought she did a really good job. Um, CCH Pounder plays Fran, who is the uh, talk show host, and she does a really good job too. Um, a radio talk show, but she does a good job. And uh, Donna Mitchell plays Connie Bates. <sighs> who's Norman's wife mm -hmm. and she's really good too yeah. and everything she she fits the role really well although she doesn't have a lot to do in this movie till like the last act but I really like how this movie went and everything like the third act was pretty good um, and it does have some really good kills in her too um, and everything uh, it it was a really good movie um, Graham Ravel does the score, and we also get snippets of uh, 
Bernard Herman score from the first movie in here too. And I think that really helped with the movie too. Like th this was the best score since Psycho 2. And everything it had the good suspense and everything. And Henry Thomas plays uh, Norman Bates when he was a teenager, and he just was spot on perfect. He did a really really great job playing him and everything. I, I just really liked this movie a lot. I thought it was a really great entry into this franchise and everything. So I'd say I'd give Psycho 4 the beginning a 8.5 out of 10. Um, so uh, anyway, that's my review for the movie. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody. This is the song that doesn't end. Oh, no. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this.